and welcome to Lesson Silla. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the error that you're seeing on the screen, error code 8009016. I'm going to open up my virtual machine. Now, the way to fix this error, there are a couple of ways that you can try. In this video, I'm going to show you one method. If this does not work, put a comment below in the video and I will give you some alternative methods that you can try. But for this video, I'm just going to show you the method that has worked for me. The method that I'm going to show you is basically to add a registry edit key to your registry editor or edit the existing key if you already have that key. First of all, I'm going to open up registry editor. So type reg edit. As you type it, it'll show up in the programs, list of programs. Click run as administrator to open registry editor in admin mode click yes okay first of all we need to always make sure that we take a backup of your existing registry editor um, the set of keys before making any changes so if something was to go wrong after you've made the change you can always go back and import the backup for the two get the last known good configuration for your registry editor. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and export the current configuration. I'm going to give it a name, let's say backup, and I'll put today today's date. It's 17th of October. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. Save. As you can see here, I've got uh, the backup file. So now we can safely go ahead and make any changes we want to make. So in my notepad, I have uh, written the location. So this is much easier than manually expanding each and every folder. I'll put this location and the key in the YouTube description box below so you can copy it from there. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this location and I'm going to come up here and get rid of the existing location and I'm going to paste this location and hit enter and it should take us to the correct location where we need to make changes. Now that we are in the right location, we need to look for a key by the name enable ADAL. Now, as you can see in here, in my registry editor, I do not have that particular key. So if you don't have that key, we need to create it. So right click on it, click on new and go Dvert 32 bit value. I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to rename it. Okay, wonderful. And double click on it and set the value to 1. Hit OK. This is all you have to do. Make sure the value has been set to 1. And once you've done this change, Go ahead, restart your computer, and then you can log back in and open your Outlook and Teams, and they should be working without any issues. So that's all for today. I hope this video helps. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave a comment below, and I'll try to respond to every comment as much as I can. If you're a subscriber, Thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you. Have a good day.